Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, session on CAT 2017 LRDI paper. Uh, before I start, if you have any comments on f or feedback on this video or any of our other videos, you can let us know on 914606475. This is our WhatsApp number. You can also give us a call on this number for any queries regarding our courses that we offer. Okay, uh, this came in the first lot of uh, CAT 2017 uh, LRDI section. Okay, this is a survey question. It's, uh, you need to be a little careful. It's again, attention to detail is more important than uh, trying to find out any shortcuts over there. Okay, so if you understand the data, then we have a rough idea of how to go about solving this question. Okay, <coughs> okay. the question says, a study to look at the early learning of rural kids was carried out in a number of villages spanning three states. Okay, so the three states, Northeast, West, and South. They are abbreviated as NEWNS. 54-year-old uh, year old kids were sampled from 150 villages of Northeast, 250 villages in West, and 200 villages in South. So total villages sampled are 150 plus 250, 400 plus 200, 600. 600 villages. Each village has 50 students. So 600 into 50, 30,000 students were surveyed. It was found that out of the 30,000, which is there, surveyed kids, 55% studied in primary schools run by government, G, 37% in primary uh, in private schools, P, and remaining did not go to school. O is did not go to school, 8%. So 37 plus 8 is 55, uh, 45, 45 plus 55 is 100%. So this is the distribution. Okay, the kids, okay, so out of this 30,000, okay, there is one distribution which is based on which schools they are in presently. Out of the kids surveyed, they were further divided into two groups based on whether their mothers dropped out of the school before completing primary education or not. So there is a further division. One is on the basis of uh, schools, which type of school they are, and the school is distributed by geography, south, northeast, and west. Okay. The second distribution is on the basis of whether the mothers dropped out or not. So dropped out, not dropped out. Okay, so there are two categories there also. So a further division. The table below gives the number of kids in different types of schools for mothers who dropped out. So the table is for the people who dropped out. So this is this distribution for the people who dropped out. Okay, we know the total is 30,000 and we have some information from which we can make out a table for people who did not whose mothers did not drop out and when we add these two we'll get the total 30,000 number which is there okay as you can see this is 18,000 so this total should be 12,000 who did not drop out total will be 30,000 overall when you add these two so I have created a sort of a table over here where we can look at the figures Okay, so this is 30,000 people. So total here will be, uh, let me just go down a little bit. Okay, so total here will be 30,000. Okay, so this is 18, so this should be 12,000. Okay, now it also says 55% studied in government schools. This is of all the 30,000. 55% studied in government schools. 55% of 30,000. 50% will be 15,000, 5% will be one tenth of 15, which is 1,500. So 55% will be 15 plus 1,500, which is 16,500. Okay. 8% did not go to school. 8% of 30,000 will be uh, 2,400, right? That's pretty easy to calculate. So balance will be here. Uh, balance will be this plus this, 30,000 minus this. This will add up to 18,9. So 11,100. 11,100 will be the total. Now, this plus this adds up to this. So I can calculate this part. 16,5 minus 13,5. This will be 3,000. 11,100 minus 2,700. 11 minus 2 is 9. 9,100 minus 700 will be 8,400. This total will be 2,400 minus 1,800. So 600. 
you can verify this should be 12 8 4 plus 6 will be 9000 9000 plus 3000 is 12000 so this has been taken care of <coughs> okay in s 60 percent of the surveyed kids were in g 60 percent of the surveyed kids were in g in south so out of all the students in south okay 60 percent were there in g okay so total of out of this 60 percent will be in g okay and also known that uh, all surveyed kids whose mothers had completed primary education were in school anyone whose mother had completed uh, primary education were in school so this total will be zero okay so this will be 300 again 300 plus zero this will be 300 <coughs> okay we also know how many villages are there so we can multiply by 50 and get the total here in northeast uh, there are 50 villages in northeast 50 into sorry 150 villages 150 into 50 will be 7500 right so northeast will be 7500 250 villages in west 250 into 50 will be 12500 and 200 into 50 will be 10000 okay so this is the total here now out of this 10000 60 percent are in G 60% will be 6,000 here, which means 5,000, uh, 6,000 minus 5,100. This number would be, uh, uh, this number would be 5,700. Uh, sorry, uh, this number will be 6,000 minus 5,100. That will be 900. Okay, this total adds up to 10,000. 6,000 plus 300 will be 6,300. So this total should be 3,700. Okay, 3,700 minus 2,000, uh, 3,300 will be 3,400. So this part is taken care of. Okay, I've used this also. Okay, I've used this fully. Okay, in Northeast, among the O kids, 50% had mothers who had dropped out before completing primary education. In Northeast, okay, among all the O kids, 50% had dropped out, which means the remaining 50% did not drop out. So if this is 300, this should also be 300. This is 50%, so this should also be 50%, so this should be 300. So this should be, total will be 600. Now I can add this and calculate. 300 plus 600 is 900, 24 minus 9 will be 1,500. 1500 minus 1200 this number should be uh, 1500 minus 1200 this number should be 300 I can also find the totals here 7500 minus 5000 will be 2500 12 5 minus 7 3 12 minus 7 is 5 5 minus 3 is 2 so 5200 and this will be 10 minus 5 7 so 43 4300 Okay, this total should be 12,000. 25 plus 43 six, uh, is 68, 68, 70, 120. Yeah, this adds up. <coughs> okay, so this part is also done. <coughs> okay, number of kids in G in Northeast was same as the number of kids in W. G Northeast is same as G in W. So what it means is that these two numbers are equal these two numbers are equal so 16 5 minus 6000 will be 10500 split evenly will be 5250 so this should be 5250 this should also be 5250 now i can cal i can add along the row and find this i can Subtract this from this and find this. I can subtract this from this and find this. So let's do this quickly. 5250 minus 4200 zero zero is 1050. This should also be 1050 because the numbers are equal. <coughs> okay. This total should be 527. Uh, okay. Uh, this total will be 7500. So this is 5250 plus 600 will be 5850. So 7500 minus 5850. This will be 50 this will be uh, 
this uh, similarly here uh, this is 5000 more this is 900 more so 5000 minus 900 will be 4100 so add 4100 here so it'll be 5750 and you can do this minus this will be this so 1650 minus 500 will be 1150 and 5750 minus 1900 will be 57 minus 19 is 38 uh, so 3850 okay so I have found all the numbers on this table okay okay so let's see how what we can do with this okay let's go to the question I have tabulated it in a neater fashion okay what percentage of kids from S were studying in P what percentage of kids from S were studying in P out of all <coughs> out of all the kids in S all the kids in S, this is 10,000 kids. 3,700 were studying in P. 3,700 out of 10,000 will be 37% option 1. Among the kids in W whose mothers had completed primary education. Mothers had completed primary education. So this is the number we are looking at. How many were not in school? How many were not in school? 300 were not in school. 300 were not in school. Option 1. right <laughs> let's go to the next one now as was the case in most of the other one you had an additional information for two uh, two questions okay so let's see what is the additional information in a follow-up survey of the same kids two years later so two years later the same thing which is there all the kids were now in school all the kids were now in school so these people are out these people are out okay they actually went to some schools okay of the kids who were not in school earlier in one region okay 25 percent were now in g where the rest were in p in the second region all kids were in g while in the third region 50 percent of the kids were now in g and the rest were in p as a result all three regions together 50 percent of the kids who were earlier out of school had joined g it was also seen that no surveyed kids had changed schools okay so let's read this carefully as a result of this change everyone moved from either from o to g or p and for each region there are some values given in one region 25 percent moved to g in the second region all kids moved to g and in the third region 50 percent moved to g 50 percent moved to p okay now as a result of which all the of all the people who are out of school 50 percent went to g 50 percent went to p Okay, so this number will increase by 1200. This number will also increase by 1200. Okay, so now you need to find out which of the regions was 25%, which was the reason which 100%, which was the reason with uh, uh, region with 50%. Okay, now this cannot be 100%. This cannot be 100%. Because if you put all the 1500 here, this number will not add up. So this cannot be 100%. <clears throat> okay now uh what can be this number okay if this number is 100 percent okay this number will increase by 300 okay so these two will increase by uh, 900 okay how will this increase by 900 if this was if this was 25 percent Okay, 25% will be 150 and 50% 50 will be 750. Okay, this adds up to 900. Okay, this works. So this trial and error works. So S, everyone moved from O to G. In West, 50% moved from O to G. And in Northeast, 25% moved from O to G. And because there is no cannot be determined in the first one, you can definitely say that this is the case okay what is the number of surveyed what number of surveyed kids were in g in w g in w it was initially 5250 add 50% 50 of 1500 which is 750 5250 plus 750 will be 6000 option 1 okay question number 4 we need to be careful there is a cannot be determined here so let's see what the question says what percentage of the surveyed kids in s 
surveyed kids in S. Okay, whose mothers had dropped out before completing primary education. So this one, okay, were now in G. Okay, so how many of them were in G? Now, ideally, I mean, we don't know the distribution. See, we know the overall distribution. We don't know from whether mothers are had dropped out or mother had not dropped out. So first look, this looks like it cannot be determined as an answer. But if you observe carefully, when you look at this 300, we know all these 300 moved to, all this 300 moved to this S. Okay, and you look at it, there is a zero here. This is zero here, which means all this 300 is this 300. And we know all this 300 is here. All the 300 is here. Okay, so we know now it is 5400 without doubt because there is nobody here to move, right? In this case, when you have 750, okay, we don't know it. This can be 50 and this can be the balance 700, or this can be 100, this can be 650, or this can be 200 and this can be 550. But with S region, okay, there is nobody in the others where the mothers have completed primary education. Okay, so all the 300 movement will have to come from this part only. So from 5100, it has now become 5400. Now, what is the question? How many, uh, how many, what percentage of the kids in S whose mothers had dropped out were in G now? Okay, <coughs> so out of the 5700, 5400 are in G. So in percentage terms, it is 54 by 57. That is 18 by 19, right? <coughs> okay. So uh, 1 by 20 is approximately 5%. So this is very close to 19 by 20. 19 by 20 is approximately 95%. So the number will be slightly lesser than 95%. We can verify with a calculator if you want to. 18 divided by 19. That's 94.7. 94.7 option 1 is your correct choice. Okay, so that finishes our set. This we had to initially work a little hard to fill up this numbers. But once we made this table, the questions were reasonably easy to solve. I hope you like this uh, video. Uh, please do leave your comments and feedback on our WhatsApp number over here. Again, if you want to enroll for our courses for CAT 18 LRDI preparation, please do uh, check out our courses. Uh, till we meet again next time, goodbye and all the best.